All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the class. Nestor, I already have Nestor. He's the only one that is here. Hi, Nestor. How is it going? Nestor, are you there? Yes, hi. I'm fine. You're fine, excellent. All right, let's give your classmates one or two minutes so they can join the session and we can start with the topic. All right. But before they come, do you remember that yesterday we were practicing pronunciation, Nestor? ¿Qué hablábamos ayer de esto? What was the main topic from yesterday's class? Uh, pronunciation about... Uh, yes. I don't know how do you say it. Agregar al final de, de ed. Ah, ok. The final ed pronunciation. Final ed. ED. Yes. yes. There we go. Did you practice? Did you print the list of verbs or not? Oh, no, no. You didn't. Sure, you need sir. to. Okay, don't worry. You need to do it this week. Make a promise. All right. I already have Manuel. Welcome back to your class, Manuel and Jose David. Hi, guys. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Excellent. Thank you so much for being here. In your case, Manuel, how are you? Um, hello, teacher. For uh, muchos años. Hey, how do you say that? Let's practice your English. Okay, I have many. I am. Yo soy or yo estoy. I am. I am. We sleep. Yeah, right. You're tired. Probably your work from today's morning. It was a little bit. A uh, very tight, very busy day, right? But thank you so much. You know, va a valer mucho el esfuerzo que ustedes le dediquen. Esta hora de clase, créanme, va a ser la diferencia. Que vamos, are you ready to start with the class? Yes or no? Or the teacher is the only one who's ready. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, pero yo los escucho como yes, teacher. Otra vez, are you ready, class? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Vale, tienen que convencerme durante la hora. Yo les escucho todos. Ok, very worried now. Ok, let's do something before we continue. Hagamos algo. Let's practice pronunciation. How are we going to practice pronunciation? Pongamos esta actividad. Look, if you remember, we were supposed to practice a tongue twister at the beginning. So, in this case, you may practice the correct pronunciation of words. Do you know the meaning of tongue twister? What is a tongue twister? Lenguas. Lenguas. Have you ever practiced by reading or Saying some twisters in English, of course. Yes or no? ¿Se han practicado algún song twister? Yes. <laughs> yes. Are yes. you good? Kind of good or not so good at song twisters class? Mm, the song twister uh, is wood and wood. Okay, okay. So you consider yourself good. Look what we have. The idea of tongue twisters is to improve your pronunciation so you can practice fluency. Speak a little bit more fast, faster. And also for you to um, exercise. ¿Saben qué en sí la pronunciación? ¿Cómo se genera? ¿Cómo se consigue una buena pronunciación? By exercising. ¿Qué tipo de ejercicio creen que deben de hacer? Uh -huh. Son. De acuerdo a la postura correcta de la lengua, así van a emitir los sonidos correctos. 
Por eso es que los fan twisters son muy buena práctica. Look what we have here. Probably you have ever heard this tongue twister in Spanish, but now we are going to practice this in English. Este es un nivel intermedio. What do we have here? It says, if you, if you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Okay, one more time. Let me try to do it a little bit, a little bit faster. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Faster. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you don't understand and say don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand? Ok, stand, stand, stand. Esa es la pronunciación que necesitamos conseguir. All right, so I'm going to give you one minute. Read, practice by yourself, and then I'm going to be ready to listen to you guys. All right, tómense un minuto, léanlo, analícenlo. Practice it, and then we can start. ¿Quién tengo en la clase ya? Néstor, Emanuel is in the class, José David. Manuel, José. Eh, Moisés and Wendy. Just a few of you guys. Okay. Los demás igual. Recuerden los recordatorios que se nos hace siempre en cada sesión. Eh, estar pendientes de conectarnos para que logremos llegar al, ses al 80% de porcentaje de conexión en la sesión. De igual manera, si surge cualquier inconveniente, notifiquemos en el grupo, en el chat grupal de WhatsApp, para que se entiende que eh, es por un inconveniente que ustedes nos han conectado. Y no por falta de voluntad. ¿Verdad, clase? Ok. Who's ready? ¿Quién está listo? This is going to be a short practice. ¿Cuántos somos? One, two, three, four, five, six. Va, igual, Manuel. Usted va a elegir quién sigue. You're going to start and then you're going to pick who the next participant is. Go, please. Ok. If you understand, say you understand. If you don't understand, say you don't understand. But if you understand and say you don't understand, how do I understand that you understand? Understand. Great job. Amazing. No corrections in pronunciations. Manuel, who's the next one? Mm, Moises. All right, Moises, are you ready? <laughs> okay, hello. Hello. <laughs> Go ahead, please. I know you can do it. Okay. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. But if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand that you understand? Understand. All right. Breathe. Repeat it. Breathe. You did it great. Ay, you did mira. it. Esa es la idea de los tongue twisters. Aunque yo considero que pueden hacerlo más rápido, but not in this class. Probably next class. Who's next? Can you see it? Uh, Wendy. All right, Wendy. Where's Wendy? Can we have the pleasure? <laughs> Me voy a, a, a parquear. Espérame un segundo. Vaya, usted va a hacer la segunda. Nos avisa, don't worry. Hey, be careful, be careful. She's driving. Está manejando. Okay. There we go. So, don't you worry, Wendy. Si puede, bien, si no, no se preocupe. Go, please. Sí, después del otro, porque ya ahorita me voy a pasear. Agradecemos su esfuerzo, Wendy. Gracias. ¿Quién sigue entonces? Who's next? Pick another one. Elige a alguien más. Or if not, I'm going to pick it. Do you want to try, Jonathan? Jonathan, René. Go ahead yeah, and try. 
if you understand, say you. understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. Uh, but if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand? Then you understand, understand. All right, a class. Esto sí merece class. Agradezco en serio el esfuerzo que hace Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Ahí estamos. Keep claps, virtual claps. Amazing. All right, Jonathan. Do you want to try? Right, Jorge. Thumbs up for Wendy. I am missing Jonathan, Jorge. Jorge también está por ahí. Go ahead and try, please. Okay, here we go. Let me listen to your pronunciation. Uh, if you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. Uh, but if you understand and say don't understand, how do you understand that you understand understand? All right. Would you like to practice and say the fang twister faster? Jorge, a little bit fast. Un poco más rápido. Go, please. I know you can do it, Jorge. Okay. Right. If you understand, say, understand. If you don't understand, say, don't understand. But if you understand and say, don't understand, how do you understand that you understand, understand? All right, that was amazing. Great job. Who's next, Jorge? Dije a los últimos dos volunteers. Well, participants, not volunteers. Okay, who's next? Okay, uno más. Los demás no sé si están ahí, solo están tal vez como oyentes, pero la idea es participar. At least one more, the last one. Yeah, teacher. Me? Jose, me, Jose, Jose David. All right. Yes. If you understand, say understand. If you don't understand, say don't understand. Yes. But, uh, if you understand and say, say uh, don't understand. How do you understand that you understand? Understand? All right, that was great. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you, guys. Be afraid, no tengan miedo, equivocarse, es parte del aprendizaje. So you see, this is an intermediate wand. I may bring some advanced wand or basic ones to the next class. También se los comparto en WhatsApp. Practíquenlo, practice and practice. Um, challenge yourself so you can say the fang twister faster. Más rápido, más rápido. Ese es su reto. All right. Yesterday we were practicing the correct ED sound. The last sound that we are going to have for the regular verbs in the simple past. ¿Qué grupo practicamos ayer? Tenemos tres grupos, tres final ending sounds. Recuerdan, estamos con los verbos regulares todavía. Regular verbs. So, I motivate you to go print the PDF document that I sent and practice the correct pronunciation. All right. Look what we have for today. We already know how to spell regular verbs, how to make the final ED sound. So, why don't we practice by making statements. We are going to have, for this class, affirmative and negative statements. In this case, using the simple past. All right, look what we have right now. I have 10 different affirmative statements. Let's see. Analicemos qué información les traje. 10 different statements. ¿Qué pueden ver? Vean los ejemplos que tengo, 10 different statements. Are those affirmative, negative, interrogative? Are they in the simple present or simple past? What can you tell me? 
analyze the information that we have. Okay, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Vean la información y me indican qué tipo de ejemplos tenemos ahí. What type of statements? Okay, what do you think? Primero que me sale acá, Jorge. ¿Qué tipo de oraciones tenemos acá? Eh, uh, uh, be, be repetition. Please. Okay, all right. Vamos a analizar la información. What type of statements do we have? Are these affirmative statements? Saben que es un statement. Por... ¿Qué es esto? What is an statement? Una oración. Sentence Affirmative. statement. Okay, este sentence uh, affirmation. Okay. ¿En qué tiempo están redactadas estas oraciones? Simple present or simple past? Number one, uh, simple present. Muy bien, y las demás, analicen todas las demás. No solo Jorge, toda la clase. Primera me dicen simple present. ¿El ¿Qué me indica? Ah, el verbo está en presente. Simple present. Number two, how about number two? Look, simple, present, en presente también. How about number three? Uh, sería... Simple present. Exactly, simple present. Todas están en presente. ¿Qué significa? Que si tengo 10 ejemplos de oraciones en presente, what do we need to do? We need to practice by making the same affirmative statement into a simple past statement. Ok, de eso nos vamos a encargar ahora. La misma información en presente, ¿cómo la van a expresar en pasado? Ok, si yo quiero hacer esto, ¿qué necesito? Seguir este patrón, fórmula, como ustedes quieran llamarle, de fórmula. It's going to include the subject, the verb in the simple past, and the complement. La misma fórmula, solo que en presente tenemos subject, the verb in the present form, and the complement. Ok, entonces, sabiendo la fórmula que deben de seguir, ¿cómo quedaría la oración? Número uno. Ya no en presente, ahora en pasado. Who wants to try? I was graduate from high school. Ok. ¿Qué piensan los demás? I was graduate. ¿Por qué le incluimos el verbo was? ¿Qué piensan? Eh... Uh, first, um, ah, go ahead, uh, agree uh, verbs to be uh, is was. All right. Um, plus complement, oh no, plus uh, action is, is graduate uh, okay. plus complement. Plus complement. All right, I really like your explanation. Vale. Lo primero que vamos a hacer, fíjense que hay dos tipos de oraciones. Todas aquellas oraciones de sentences, claro, que son redactadas con el verbo to be. Pero en este caso, ninguna de ellas está redactada con el verbo to be. Ya analizaron todos los verbos. Hagamos eso primero. ¿Cuáles son los verbos en las oraciones? In number one. Graduate. In number two, studies. In number three, class. ¿Cuál es el verbo en la tres? Busquen el verbo. 
Do the same with number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Vamos, quiero escucharlos. Recuerden que de eso se trata la sesión. Number three, uh, the bear is what? Yes. Number four. Work. That's all right. Number five. Um, plan. That's all right. In number six. No solo Jorge clase. Tengo muchos más estudiantes. Vamos. Number six. Talk. Talk. That's all right. Great pronunciation. Talk. Number seven. Jumps. That's all right. Jumps. In number eight. Place. All right. Number nine. Enjoy. Enjoy. And in the last one. Stops. Stops. Perfecto. No hay ninguna con el verbo tú y entonces no necesito agregarlo en la oración en el pasado. Les doy un ejemplo. ¿Cómo quedaría la primera? I gratulate. Mm -hmm. Primero, um, yes, there you go. Ya casi, ahí tiene la respuesta. Subject, ¿quién sería mi sujeto? Uh, I. I. Escribo el verbo en presente. ¿Y cómo es un verbo regular? I graduated. ¿Y cuál es el complement? From high From school. From high school. ¿Ya vieron cómo pasar una... Oración del presente ha pasado. Lo único que tuve que hacer es redactar el verbo en pasado. Les ayudo con la número dos. Number two. Who is the subject? She. The verb. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Acá en la oración en presente está conjugado para la tercera persona. Pero en sí el verbo es study. ¿Cómo paso el verbo study? Ha pasado. Recuerden que le debo de agregar ed. Aquí ya estamos manejando las reglas del spelling. She. ¿Estará correcto así? She mm. studied. No. Not really. Uh, What do uh, we need to do? So we are yeah. going to. Mm -hmm. E. Y latina. Okay. Hey. Letter I. We are going to replace. Ok, ya tenemos el verbo en pasado. ¿Qué me falta? El complement. She started in the, the la, la, library. Ok. Y así haríamos con todas las demás. Hagamos la tres. Vamos a hacer cinco juntos. Y ustedes se van a encargar de hacer las cinco que nos restan. Number three. Subject. Day. What is the bird that we have in number three? Watch. Oh. Uh -huh. Watch. There we Watch go. Her. Watched. It's con la T. Watched. Muy bien. And then we have the complement that is a movie. ¿Será que le pongo entonces today? ¿Qué piensan de esta oración? They watched a movie today. ¿Vieron una película ahora? ¿Sí? ¿Qué piensan no. de la expresión today? De esto. Change. Ah, ok. It's going to change. Recuerden que ya estamos expresando en pasado. Pueden hacer dos cosas. Dejarla hasta acá, they watched a movie, o exactamente cambiar la expresión de today a yesterday. Que es lo más eh, probable, ¿verdad? Que la vieron ayer. There you go. They watched a movie yesterday. Number four. Subject. Uh -huh. We. What is the verb in number four? We have the verb work. What is the simple past or 
Yes. Or the correct form of the verb in the past. We. Mm -hmm. okay. There we go. We worked. What is a compliment? Late today. What do you think about late today? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Yes. We are not going to say today because the expression is being expressed in the past. La estamos expresando en el pasado. Vaya, tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro oraciones. ¿Sí se fijaron cómo voy pasando del presente a pasado? Yes. Ok, tengo la número cinco, seis, siete, ocho y nueve. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita en el chat de Zoom? Van a ir redactando las oraciones, ¿ok? Número cuatro. Ya está lista. Vamos por la cinco. Number five. ¿Cómo les queda la número cinco? Quiero que en el chat de Zoom le escriban ahorita para poder ir revisando, eh, en este caso, la escritura. No puedo revisar algo escrito en su cuaderno, pero sí, en el chat. Vamos. Number five. You plan your birthday party. Go ahead, class. Typing right now. Number five. O no debe tomar 10 o 15 segundos para redactarlo. Number five, go please. Do the same process. Who is the subject? What is the verb? What is the correct form of the verb in the past? And then just you are going to write the complement. All right, that's going to be it. Let me see, let me check on that. Okay, aquí tengo ya um, la número cinco. Mm -hmm. Okay, José David me cambió algunas palabritas. You planned our birthday party, okay. Manuel, that's all right. There you go. Manuel, yes. Correct. José David, falta algo por ahí, José David. Moisés, también me le hace falta algo por ahí. Néstor, that's all right. Perfect. All right, there you go. You planned your birthday party. Vale, quedémonos con esa. ¿Qué piensan? You planned your birthday party last year. Okay, me gusta el complemento. There you go. You planned your birthday party. That's so right. Vale, vamos a hacer una cosita para que vayan viendo también el chat. Se lo vamos a compartir. Here we go. Bye, está el chat. Pueden ver el chat ya activado. Ahí está. Dice, you planned your birthday party. You planned your birthday party. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuál es la forma correcta? ¿Qué piensan en clase? ¿Saben qué? Si les digo que todos, 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 tienen un 90% de correcta la oración. ¿Qué creen que les hace falta? ¿Por qué no está correcta? Why is not correct? Uh, when the word uh, finish in vowel and consonant, the, the, the consonant uh, mm -hmm. is... You are. Uh, go uh, ahead, go ahead. I know you can do it. El punto final? No. Okay, okay yes, okay. exactly. Uno. <laughs> puntuación, clase mayúscula al inicio, si sí, no, está incorrecta. Miren acá, you, you plan in the period, si no hay puntuación, es una oración incompleta, and that's all right, muchos sí recordaron la regla. Tenemos un verbo que finaliza como consonant, vowel, consonant. Entonces, a todos esos verbos. Vaya, miren, consonant, 
vowel consonant. A esos verbos hay que escribir nuevamente la última consonante y ahora sí pueden agregar ed. Perfect. Vamos con la number six. Seis. Todos en el chat. Number six. Go ahead, please. Number six. Let me check the chat. Number six. Dice la número seis. He talks about his girlfriend. Number six. Let me see who's the first one. Igual, escriban la número seis. He talks about his girlfriend. I am. All right, Jonathan, que se le olvidó al final, Jonathan. That's all right. Manuel, perfect. Edwin, that's all right, perfect. Jonathan, just a period at the end. Punto final and that's it. There you go. He talked, talked about his girlfriend. That's all right, Danilo. Amazing job. There you go, Moises. He talked about his girlfriend. Okay, let's move on. Number number seven. Vamos con la siete. Number seven. He jumps on the bed. La siete. ¿Cómo les quedó la siete? Number seven. All right. Edwin and the night, that's perfect. Jose David, that's perfect, amazing. He jumps, he jumped, jumped on the bed. That's all right, there you go. Okay, I like it, Moises. Moises is being very specific. Moises, muy específico, that's all right. You can add the compliment. He jumped on the bed yesterday. All right. Number number eight. Let's move on to number eight. Va con todo, José David. Gracias. Ya, ya no ganó con la ocho. ¿Qué piensan de la ocho? What do you think? Not really. José David, no. Cambiamos, José David. Falta algo ahí. Es incorrecto algo. Edwin Adonai, no. Corrijamos algo, léala bien. Not really. John played soccer today. Make a correction, please. Nestor, perfect. There you go, you got it right. John played soccer yesterday, that's amazing. Yes, Jose David, now it's all right. It's not today, it's yesterday. There you go. What do you think, Manuel? John played soccer today. Today? Sorry, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yesterday. Yes, Edwin, that's all right. Daniela, how do you spell John? <laughs> Ella con una mano está escribiendo. Okay. Este, este, este Don't worry. El... Jonathan, that's all right. Played. Quizás Jonathan ahí solo es la mayúscula en el verbo. Minúscula, but that's all right. Perfect. Vamos bien. Siguiente. Nos quedan dos. Number nine. Kids. Escuchen bien. Kids enjoy eating ice cream. ¿Cómo le va a quedar ese, esa oración? ¿Qué piensan ahí? Ajá, ya vamos a ver qué pasa. Ay, teacher, pero tengo dos verbos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál pondrían en pasado entonces? I think this is the first verb because the second verb is como, it's like describe. Yes. Ok, Edwin, that's amazing. Solo falta el Puntuación, Edwin Adonai. That's all right, Néstor. Lo mismo, puntuación. That's all right. Ahí está. 
Hi, see ya, Edwin. Amazing. Kids enjoy eating ice cream. Perfect. That's all right. Then we'll like for the There we go. Yes, Manuel, tell me. Teacher, uh, when the statement uh, two birds, the third bird change or always third third change or the second. Yeah, in this case, whenever we have two verbs, as you said, como dijo, the first verb is going to change. Okay. Okay. In the Teacher, past, uh, this is just a compliment. Example, mm -hmm. okay. Enjoying. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end, uh, why? In the whole cell, verb that only in the white, the new white, and add yellow. Uh-huh. Okay, you want to say that this is similar to this one. It's a consonant, vowel consonant. Yes? No, it's, it's, it's different. For... Because of this one, ah, the Y? Yes, yes. Ah, there we go. The rule says que necesita tener una consonant en letter Y. Mm -hmm. Not vowel in letter Y. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's why. Yes, perfect. Okay, and the last one. La número 10. It stops raining. ¿Qué piensan de la 10? ¿Cómo la redactan? It stops raining. Go ahead, please. No esperen que sus compañeros escriban. Vamos, ustedes pueden hacerlo primero. There you go, ahí está. You got it right. That's why, yes, Danilo and Edwin, that's all right. Same to you, Nestor. Period, punto al final. It stopped raining. Perfect. There you go, Jose David. That's correct. Perfect job. Okay, vaya, revisemos si quedaron de la misma manera. That's all right. Okay, aquí tenemos entonces. Los complementos, number six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's it. Muy bien. ¿Qué podemos rescatar, resaltar de este ejercicio? If you see from number one to number, ¿qué es este? Number eight. Todos utilizaban un pronombre al inicio, pero miren la nueve y la diez. Nueve, aquí falta una. La nueve, no, la ocho y la nueve. I'm so sorry. En estas ya no utilizaba un pronombre, sino también puede utilizar un nombre. Singular o plural también, no solo singular. ¿Ok? En el caso de stopped. Sí, perfecto. ¿Recordaron la regla de? Eh, to double the last consonant. So that's why. ¿Cómo se sienten ahora entonces con? Verbos en pasado o redactar oraciones en presente a pasado. ¿Sí? Is it confused? A little bit easy. Sí, alguna pregunta de esta parte, porque no solo nos vamos a quedar con affirmative. Dijimos que tenemos negativa. Vale, aquí lo hicimos muy bien, ya recordamos. Miren qué tengo acá entonces. Analicemos mis oraciones from number one to number ten. ¿Qué piensan de las oraciones? ¿En qué tiempo están redactadas? What is the tense of the All right. right. Ya no las tengo en presente. Miren, hoy es un nuevo reto. Las tengo en pasado afirmativo. Es lo que acaban de hacer ustedes. Que quiero que hagan esas en pasado 
afirmativo, you are going to write the same statements in the simple past, but in negative. ¿Cómo hago entonces para pasar una oración afirmativa a negativa? Ya no en presente, miren el presente ahorita, pasado. I need to have the subject. I am going to use an auxiliary verb. El verbo auxiliar para preguntas y oraciones negativas en pasado es did. For the negative form, didn't or did not. The verb is going to be in the base form, ya no en el pasado, olvídense del verbo en pasado. Y el complemento, ok, les muestro cómo iría entonces. Number one, queda así. I, sería el mismo sujeto. Que le agregué el complemento en una forma corta. I didn't graduate. El verbo ya no se conjuga. Queda en presente o en la forma base. Y luego el complemento. I didn't graduate from high school. All right. ¿Cómo queda entonces la número dos? Analicemos. ¿Quién es el sujeto en la dos? Who is the subject? Mm -hmm. She. What is next? Sí, por favor. ¿Qué le sí. sigue? Did not. Okay, did not, or we can also say didn't. The short form. Didn't. didn't. Verb. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Study. Study. Not really in the simple form. Like this? Studies. Oh, studies. Escucha eso. Studies. Study. Ahí no prestamos atención si es la tercera persona. She didn't study in the library. Period. And that's it. Okay, ¿cómo les queda la tres? Número tres. Number three. We didn't work la T yesterday. Okay, we didn't work. Yes. Ajá, esa es la cuatro. But that's all right. Number three, they. They didn't watch a movie yesterday. All right, they didn't watch a movie yesterday. Vamos a irlas complementando. Number two, she didn't study in the library. They didn't. Watched a movie yesterday. How about number four? Ya me lo dijeron ahí. Number four. We didn't work la T yesterday. All right. We didn't work. We didn't work late yesterday. No nada más. Number five. Go ahead, please. You planned your birthday party. Your uh, plan, your birthday party. All right. You didn't plan your birthday party. That's amazing. Okay. Number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Vámonos al chat. Six, seven, eight, nine. Quiero ver cómo las redactan. Ese sería el último ejercicio de esta clase. The last exercise from this class. Go, please. Number six. All right. Let me see. Acuérdense el uso del auxiliar. He talked about his girlfriend. That's perfect, Jose David. Amazing. All right, Danilo, it's the period. Muy bien, el punto final. That's all right. He didn't talk. He didn't talk. Yes, Edwin, that's perfect. Okay, move on. Vaya, no importa, vayan redactando las siguientes. 
No esperen a que yo les diga. Number seven, number eight, number nine. Yo solo la voy chequeando. That's all right. Yes, Manuel, that's all right. Go ahead with number seven. Yes, Anilo, that's amazing. How about number eight? Move on. It's all right. All right, he didn't jump on the bed. Yes, Manuel, that's perfect. Okay. Yes, he didn't jump on the bed. Number eight, number nine, ten. John didn't. Yes. John. John. He didn't jump into bed. Perfecto. Yes, Manuel. That's all right, Edwin. That's all right. John didn't play soccer yesterday. Yes. Exactly. Go ahead with number nine. Number nine, what do you think about number nine? Yes, Edwin, perfect. Exactly, yes, Danilo. Kit didn't enjoy eating ice cream. That's all right, perfect. All right. Jose David, Edwin, that's all right. It didn't stop. Not really, Danilo. Mm -mm. Incorrect. Manuel, that's perfect, Manuel. You cannot have the verb in the past. It didn't stop raining. Yes, Danilo, that's perfect. No, don't say sorry, just correct it. It didn't stop. There you go, raining. That's all right. Perfect. Ok. Vamos a revisar cómo quedaron entonces. Edwin, yes. You didn't stop praying. Perfect. Ok. Hoy sí les muestro cómo queda. Miren, la number six. He didn't talk. He didn't jump. John didn't play. Kids didn't enjoy. It didn't stop. Raining, that's all right. Quizás este ejercicio ya se les hizo un poco más fácil, ¿verdad? Del presente, no del presente, perdón, del afirmativo a negative form. Vi que no, les, no, les, eh, no se les hizo difícil. Vale, let's stop here. ¿Cómo sintieron entonces estos dos ejercicios? Y two, two type of examples that we have. Mm -hmm. How do you feel it? Easy, is it difficult? Recuerden, seguimos con los verbos regulares. No nos hemos metido todavía con los verbos irregulares. Not really. So, sure. Dígame. Podría poner de nuevo la, la pantalla para tomarle captura, por favor. Claro, perfecto, ahorita. Let me see. Mañana vamos a continuar, sí, siempre con los verbos en pasado, pero vamos a tratar de ver un poco los verbos. Vale, ahí está. Vale. Listo, gracias. That's all right. La comparte en el grupo, please. Si no, yo les ayudo, los puedo compartir después. Ahí están, thank you. Ahí está el Sun Twister, ya lo compartieron, that's all right. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo creen que es pasar una oración negativa a pregunta? ¿Será que somos capaces de hacer eso? ¿Qué piensan? I didn't graduate from high school. ¿Cómo hago esa interrogante entonces? You change the verb to the subject. Ah, ok. And at the end of the sentences, plus the verb. The mm -hmm. question mark. The question mark. The question mark, yes. So be ready for that exercise tomorrow. If you go to the platform, there you're going to find 
uh, section number four, exercise 4.4. Tenemos acá, si se fijan, lo que hemos estado haciendo. You need to change the verbs to the simple past. Entonces, creo que no es algo imposible de hacer. Según veo acá, todos son verbos regulares. Todos, todos, todos. Vamos, hagamos este como último ejercicio. On Friday night, I wait. What is the simple pass for wait? On Friday night, I. Ahí salía la wait. Waited. I waited. Yes. A phone call. Esperé por una llamada. Dice. But my girlfriend. ¿Qué pasó con la novia? But my girlfriend. Not call. Ok. ¿Qué piensan? Le pongo not call. Analicemos. My girlfriend es el sujeto. que sigue después del sujeto? El auxiliar para negativo. Did not or didn't. Y luego el verbo. Ese es el orden. Tengo el sujeto. Did not or didn't. And then the verb. Didn't call, but my girlfriend didn't call. No, le llamó la novia. ¿Qué pasó entonces? He says, I just stay home. Me quedé en casa. ¿Y qué hizo? And... So close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so far. No, and. ¿De acuerdo a la plataforma? <laughs> and. Vamos, el pasado de watch. What is the simple pasado de watch? Watch. Exactly, and watched. TV. Okay, next. On Saturday, I, my friend Frank, I visit. Simple pass of visit. No, this is quite easy. Visit it. ¿Qué más hicieron? He visited his friend Frank. We talked. And hablamos, ¿sí? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra acción? What is the simple pass of listened? Look. Listened. Listened. Listen to music. In the evening. Yes, go ahead, please. To verbs in past. Yes, it's possible. Why not? Because he is describing the actions. Está como enlistando lo que hizo. We talked and okay. listened to music. Okay, thank you. Yes, all right. In the evening, in la tarde, he invited some friends over. ¿Qué significa esa acción? Invite over. ¿En qué lugar están entonces? Cuando yo digo invite over. ¿A qué lugar hace referencia? Imagínense un verbo que me indica un lugar. To my home or to my house. Invitar. I invite over. No pueden decir I am going to invite you over to the restaurant. No, porque ustedes no son el dueño del restaurante. Entonces, esa o este juego de verbo y de palabras, invite over, significa a mi casa. He invited some friends over. Significa que la casa, estaban en la casa de Frank. He invited some friends over and we, ¿qué hicieron también? Look. And we cooked a great meal. Sigue redactando. La rutina o lo que hicieron. I not work very hard on Sunday. Ahí está. Ya. I, sí, didn't la... work. I didn't work. ¿Qué más no hizo? I didn't study. I didn't mm -hmm. study at all. Entonces, ¿qué hizo? No estudió, no trabajó. I just walked to the mall end. Ok, spelling. Párense el verbo chop. ¿Qué pasa con chop? Pp. Exactly, we need to double the last consonant. Yeah. And that's it. 
Ok, entonces ahí les queda para que también complementen. Creo que la 4.9, esta es negativa y interrogativa. Mañana la vamos a ver, ok. Questions, preguntas, esperemos por acá. Stop here. Preguntas sobre lo que hicimos ahora. El perro volador. Is it clear? Is it kind of clear? Vamos a ver. Sí, quedó claro. Quiero escucharlos. No questions. Okay, so. Eh, Jose David, you were about to say something. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, alguna pregunta? No, teacher. <laughs> oh, really? All right. Pensé que sí. Vaya clase. No olviden practicar. If you don't practice, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to understand this topic. But if you practice, this is going to be a piece of cake. So class, thank you so much for joining today's class. Let's stop the class here. It was a pleasure of having you here. Let's continue tomorrow. Guarense que mañana se clase. Thank you, class. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you. Bye -bye.